So what, what's your the favorite project you worked on and, and what qualities, I think, attract you to the ones you choose? Uh, well, I think one of my, I mean, American War was the movie that put me on the map, basically. I mean, and, and, and I, I have really fond memories of, of that film. Um, but one of my favorite characters that I created was Harry from Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> the film was made in the 80s, it's a big foot character. And um, I, 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 the director came to me before he had a deal and he had a script and he said, you know, I think you're the only person in the world that's really going to do this right. And he was, you know, giving me this whole line of, of BS that I really bought, you know, and, and, and it was like, well, we don't really have any money, but can you design this for us, you know, not first? And so I did, I actually, again, this was a pencil drawing that I did of Harry, and they actually use it in a movie, and, and there's a scene where uh, John Lithgow, his, his father wants him to draw a scary Bigfoot because he's a hunter you know, with a, 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 you know, a gun store, and uh then John ends up saying, you know, that he does this one drawing. I think, well, that's really Harry. Well, that was my original sketch, um, oh. which they actually put in the script, which was actually what John Lithgow, when he saw the sketch, said, I want to do this movie, you know. Um, so Harry, I'm very fond of. And also, I was one of the people that performed his face, you know, I puppeteered his face. So, uh, and my friend Kevin Hall, who's uh, unfortunately no longer with us, was a good friend of mine who played Harry. You know? um, as far as choosing the jobs, it's... You know, it's a problem. I always say, you know, the biggest monster I ever created was my business. You know, and when I, it was one thing when I was doing it myself out of my garage, and and I didn't really have an overhead, and I didn't have a crew, and also there, you know, a lot of times there weren't jobs, and the, and what made me decide was <coughs> someone called up and said, "We want you to do some makeup." It's like, okay, you know, um, I do like to work on films that I want to work on, and as you see, I personally love monster movies, and like I said, eight things. You know, those are the ones I really wanted to do. Having a business when you have a lot of people employed, there were times I took films because it was a job and I had bills to pay like everybody else and major bills. I mean, when you have a crew of highly paid people that you're keeping on in, in a 60,000 square foot facility that costs you a lot of money, it, you know, those jobs have to keep coming in. But um, like I said, so many times you'll get a script and it's great and you go, I love this movie. And then the, when you see the movie, it's like, what was that script I read? It had nothing to do with this. You know? uh, so, you know, you, a lot of times you can't do it just on the script. You know, so a lot of times it's the people, you know, uh, or it's just something I really would like to make. You know, it's like, yeah, I'll do that. Or it's like the only job in town and I got bills to pay. You know, so it's all those things. You know.